Leviticus 19, Ritual and Moral Holiness And the Lord said to Moses, Say to all the congregation of the people of Israel, You shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. Every one of you shall revere his mother and his father, and you shall keep my Sabbaths, I am the Lord your God. Do not turn to idols or make for yourselves molten gods, I am the Lord your God. When you offer a sacrifice of peace offerings to the Lord, you shall offer it so that you may be accepted. It shall be eaten the same day you offer it, or on the morrow, and anything left over until the third day shall be burned with fire. If it is eaten at all on the third day, it is an abomination, it will not be accepted, and everyone who eats it shall bear his iniquity, because he has profaned a holy thing of the Lord, and that person shall be cut off from his people. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field to its very border, neither shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest. And you shall not strip your vineyard bare, neither shall you gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard, you shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner, I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal, nor deal falsely, nor lie to one another. And you shall not swear by my name falsely, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not oppress your neighbor or rob him. The wages of a hired servant shall not remain with you all night until the morning. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind, but you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. You shall do no injustice in judgment, you shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great, but in righteousness shall you judge your neighbor. You shall not go up and down as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not stand forth against the life of your neighbor, I am the Lord. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, but you shall reason with your neighbor, lest you bear sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance or bear any grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. You shall keep my statutes. You shall not let your cattle breed with a different kind, you shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed nor shall there come upon you a garment of cloth made of two kinds of stuff. If a man lies carnally with a woman who is a slave, betrothed to another man and not yet ransomed or given her freedom, an inquiry shall be held. They shall not be put to death, because she was not free, but he shall bring a guilt offering for himself to the Lord, to the door of the tent of meeting, a ram for a guilt offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering before the Lord for his sin which he has committed, and the sin which he has committed shall be forgiven him. When you come into the land and plant all kinds of trees for food, then you shall count their fruit as forbidden, three years it shall be forbidden to you, it must not be eaten. And in the fourth year all their fruit shall be holy, an offering of praise to the Lord. But in the fifth year you may eat of their fruit, that they may yield more richly for you. I am the Lord your God. You shall not eat any flesh with the blood in it. You shall not practice augury or witchcraft. You shall not round off the hair on you temples or mar the edges of your beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh on account of the dead or tattoo any marks upon you, I am the Lord. Do not profane your daughter by making her a harlot, lest the land fall into harlotry and the land become full of wickedness. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. Do not turn to mediums or wizards, do not seek them out, to be defiled by them, I am the Lord your God. You shall rise up before the hoary head, and honor the face of an old man, and you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. When a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. The stranger who sojourns with you shall be to you as the native among you and you shall love him as yourself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. You shall do no wrong in judgment, in measures of length or weight or quantity. You shall have just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and a just hin, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And you shall observe all my statutes and all my ordinances, and do them, I am the Lord. Leviticus 20 Penalties for Violations of Holiness The Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, Any man of the people of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, who gives any of his children to Molech shall be put to death, 
the people of the land shall stone him with stones. I myself will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he has given one of his children to Molech, defiling my sanctuary and profaning my holy name. And if the people of the land do at all hide their eyes from that man, when he gives one of his children to Molech, and do not put him to death, then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and will cut them off from among their people, him and all who follow him in playing the harlot after Molech. If a person turns to mediums and wizards, playing the harlot after them, I will set my face against that person, and will cut him off from among his people. Consecrate yourselves therefore, and be holy, for I am the Lord your God. Keep my statutes, and do them, I am the Lord who sanctify you. For every one who curses his father or his mother shall be put to death, he has cursed his father or his mother, his blood is upon him. If a man commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness, both of them shall be put to death, their blood is upon them. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall be put to death, they have committed incest, their blood is upon them. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall be put to death, their blood is upon them. If a man takes a wife and her mother also, it is wickedness, they shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man lies with a beast, he shall be put to death, and you shall kill the beast. If a woman approaches any beast and lies with it, you shall kill the woman and the beast, they shall be put to death, their blood is upon them. If a man takes his sister, a daughter of his father or a daughter of his mother, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a shameful thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of the children of their people, he has uncovered his sister's nakedness, he shall bear his iniquity. If a man lies with a woman having her sickness, and uncovers her nakedness, he has made naked her fountain, and she has uncovered the fountain of her blood, both of them shall be cut off from among their people. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister or of your father's sister, for that is to make naked ones near kin, they shall bear their iniquity. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness, they shall bear their sin, they shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is impurity, he has uncovered his brother's nakedness, they shall be childless. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my ordinances, and do them, that the land where I am bringing you to dwell may not vomit you out. And you shall not walk in the customs of the nation which I am casting out before you, for they did all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who have separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore make a distinction between the clean beast and the unclean, and between the unclean bird and the clean, you shall not make yourselves abominable by beast or by bird or by anything with which the ground teems, which I have set apart for you to hold unclean. You shall be holy to me, for I the Lord am holy, and have separated you from the peoples, that you should be mine. A man or a woman who is a medium or a wizard shall be put to death, they shall be stoned with stones, their blood shall be upon them. Leviticus 21 the holiness of priests. And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them that none of them shall defile himself for the dead among his people, except for his nearest of kin, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother, or his virgin sister, who is near to him because she has had no husband, for her he may defile himself. He shall not defile himself as a husband among his people and so profane himself. They shall not make tonsures upon their heads, nor shave off the edges of their beards, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy to their God, and not profane the name of their God, for they offer the offerings by fire to the Lord, the bread of their God, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not marry a harlot or a woman who has been defiled neither shall they marry a woman divorced from her husband, for the priest is holy to his God. You shall consecrate him, 
for he offers the bread of your God, he shall be holy to you, for I the Lord, who sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by playing the harlot, profanes her father, she shall be burned with fire. The priest who is chief among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil is poured, and who has been consecrated to wear the garments, shall not let the hair of his head hang loose, nor rend his clothes, he shall not go into any dead body, nor defile himself, even for his father or for his mother, neither shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God, for the consecration of the anointing oil of his God is upon him, I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife in her virginity. A widow, or one divorced, or a woman who has been defiled, or a harlot, these he shall not marry, but he shall take to wife a virgin of his own people, that he may not profane his children among his people, for I am the Lord who sanctify him. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, None of your descendants throughout their generations who has a blemish may approach to offer the bread of his God. For no one who has a blemish shall draw near, a man blind or lame, or one who has a mutilated face or a limb too long, or a man who has an injured foot or an injured hand, or a hunchback, or a dwarf, or a man with a defect in his sight or an itching disease or scabs or crushed testicles, no man of the descendants of Aaron the priest who has a blemish shall come near to offer the Lord's offerings by fire, since he has a blemish, he shall not come near to offer the bread of his God. He may eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy things, but he shall not come near the veil or approach the altar, because he has a blemish, that he may not profane my sanctuaries, for I am the Lord who sanctify them. So Moses spoke to Aaron and to his sons and to all the people of Israel. Leviticus 22, The Use of Holy Offerings And the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons to keep away from the holy things of the people of Israel, which they dedicate to me, so that they may not profane my holy name, I am the Lord. Say to them, if any one of all your descendants throughout your generations approaches the holy things, which the people of Israel dedicate to the Lord, while he has an uncleanness, that person shall be cut off from my presence, I am the Lord. None of the line of Aaron who is a leper or suffers a discharge may eat of the holy things until he is clean. Whoever touches anything that is unclean through contact with the dead or a man who has had an emission of semen, and whoever touches a creeping thing by which he may be made unclean or a man from whom he may take uncleanness, whatever his uncleanness may be the person who touches any such shall be unclean until the evening and shall not eat of the holy things unless he has bathed his body in water. When the sun is down he shall be clean, and afterward he may eat of the holy things, because such are his food. That which dies of itself or is torn by beasts he shall not eat, defiling himself by it, I am the Lord. They shall therefore keep my charge, lest they bear sin for it and die thereby when they profane it, I am the Lord who sanctify them. An outsider shall not eat of a holy thing. A sojourner of the priests or a hired servant shall not eat of a holy thing, but if a priest buys a slave as his property for money, the slave may eat of it, and those that are born in his house may eat of his food. If a priest's daughter is married to an outsider she shall not eat of the offering of the holy things. But if a priest's daughter is a widow or divorced, and has no child, and returns to her father's house, as in her youth, she may eat of her father's food, yet no outsider shall eat of it. And if a man eats of a holy thing unwittingly, he shall add the fifth of its value to it, and give the holy thing to the priest. The priests shall not profane the holy things of the people of Israel, which they offer to the Lord, and so cause them to bear iniquity and guilt, by eating their holy things for I am the Lord who sanctify them. Acceptable Offerings And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron and his sons and all the people of Israel, When any one of the house of Israel or of the sojourners in Israel presents his offering, whether in payment of a vow or as a free will offering which is offered to the Lord as a burnt offering, to be accepted you shall offer a male without blemish, of the bulls or the sheep or the goats. You shall not offer anything that has a blemish, for it will not be acceptable for you. And when anyone offers a sacrifice of peace offerings to the Lord, to fulfill a vow or as a free will offering, from the herd or from the flock, to be accepted it must be perfect, 
there shall be no blemish in it. Animals blind or disabled or mutilated or having a discharge or an itch or scabs, you shall not offer to the Lord or make of them an offering by fire upon the altar to the Lord. A bull or a lamb which has a part too long or too short you may present for a free will offering, but for a votive offering it cannot be accepted. Any animal which has its testicles bruised or crushed or torn or cut, you shall not offer to the Lord or sacrifice within your land, neither shall you offer as the bread of your God any such animals gotten from a foreigner. Since there is a blemish in them, because of their mutilation, they will not be accepted for you. And the Lord said to Moses, When a bull or sheep or goat is born, it shall remain seven days with its mother, and from the eighth day on it shall be acceptable as an offering by fire to the Lord. And whether the mother is a cow or a ewe, you shall not kill both her and her young in one day. And when you sacrifice a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Lord, you shall sacrifice it so that you may be accepted. It shall be eaten on the same day, you shall leave none of it until morning, I am the Lord. So you shall keep my commandments and do them, I am the Lord. And you shall not profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the people of Israel, I am the Lord who sanctify you who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God, I am the Lord.